Why do you keep looking over at them? I don't. You do. How's your wine? So when are you going to ask him? Shush, not now. Well, when then? Can we just eat this? When? I don't know. When it's convenient. They need you to agree to a divorce so they can get married. Is that it? Got yourself a regular brain surgeon on your hands there, Justin, don't be rude. I'm not being rude. Well, let's just go. No, we haven't finished our food yet. Justin, please. We'll go. No, no, it's okay. No, we'll go honestly. I brought you out. It's not fair. You two stay here and we'll go. But we are all staying. We can be civil about this. We're all grown-ups. That was cheap. What was? Coming round here. To our house. Ingratiating yourself. He asked me. Leave it at work, yeah? Leave what at work? Everything. Why? Oh, please. Don't act dumb, it's exhausting. You haven't shown me round yet. And I'm not going to either. And what am I going to say when he asks me what I thought of the bedroom? Say what you want. And don't pretend you like him. I do like him. He trusts me. <laughs> I wouldn't. Most kids have two houses these days. How am I supposed to live in both? Well, you spend half your time here, yeah? And half your time there. Why if I want something that's at the other house? You bring your overnight bag round like you have today. Living out of a bag. What if I just move in completely? Well, I thought you were worried about Mum. I am. What if she does something stupid, so? What if she does herself in? Aim, she's not gonna do herself in. You'll have to get around this, you must be starving. So can I have a smile, please? Just one. Come on, that's right, we've got to keep our sense of humour. That's it, thank you. So, should we put a video on? Um, DVD, old man. Oh! <laughs> Okay, if you want a divorce, you can have one. All right, keep it down, will you? Oh, shut up, you. What? You want some? Justin. Jake. But if you want to throw your life away, fine. I think we should discuss this outside. Yeah. No, you stay here. You can have whatever you want. But let me tell you this, I think you are absolutely out of your mind. I understand why you're still angry. This isn't about me being angry. This is about you being completely crazy. I'm not the first person to say that to you, am I? No. What are you doing? They're going to have this conversation sometime. Might as well be now. Can you pay the bill, please? Our marriage, it's over, gone. It's dead, dead in the water. And I can just about handle that from the bottom of my guts. Just about. This whole thing. And Carmel, she might not be the sharpest knife in the drawer, and neither am I. But she can see what everyone else in this village can see. What you're doing is pure and adulterated lunacy. And if you're doing this just to keep up appearances... Oh, I'm not doing anything to keep up appearances. I don't think you want to be with him. He's just lost his sisters. That tranny bloke. Oh, say what you want to about the rest of us. But we don't go around and smash people's heads in just because we don't like the way they dress. He's a child, Becca. He's a thug and a child. Here comes your date. Maybe you should call me when things have calmed down. No, calm up. Thanks for trying. I'm sorry. What for? Take your pick. I just think it's a real shame. Someone like you with so much to offer. But if you want a divorce, it's yours. Go and speak to the solicitor in the morning and set things in motion. Thank you. I really appreciate it. Yeah, well. Did you ever care about my feelings at all? Yes, all the time. You just never loved me, did you? No. Don't make the same mistake twice. I have to go back inside. Don't pay that bill. So, why, why are you crying? I'm not crying. Is he going to a divorce? Yeah. So things can move on though. Well, when we're ready, obviously. 
She even paid the bill. Well, she seemed very nice. Anyway, all the best. Oi. Thanks. Yeah. We're getting married. Can we start again? Maybe once you're over. If you ever are. <gasps>